beautiful self-confidence. As, as much as it is heard the lower, right? Be yourself, be free, be confident, speak your truth. Sometimes it is not as easy as we would like it to be. We struggle with our own authenticity. We struggle with speaking out our words, with being heard, we go into relationships that make us feel stuck. We, we work a job that doesn't make us fulfilled, that doesn't bring happiness in us. And what is the reason for it? Most of the times, it is the conditioning that we experience it from childhood. Uh, it is the lack of self-worth, the lack of self that we have been carrying from our childhood. So if, for example, our parents were telling us, be a good girl, don't, don't tell us, that, like, don't be now icky. Don't don't tell us what you need, right? Stop screaming. Stop stop talking. Just be a good girl. And you become shut. You shut all of your needs, all of your wants. You shut your confidence. And I, it is just an example. But in the first years of our life, we live in this, this hypnotic hypnotic condition, hypnotic, hypnotic trance, where we take in all of the information just like this. All that we perceive, it goes inside of us and it builds us neural connections. It is, we literally take it as, oh, okay, this is the way to live. This is the way to act in this society, in this community, in this life. And in the later years, up to seven years, we live in most in this terra brain wave, where we start to pick up a bit on maybe, okay, this is the right one. Maybe I pick this, uh, this information, how my parents are acting in between ourselves. But still, we take in so much, so much information just from outside of us. And only later, from eight years, we become conscious. We start consciously deciphering information. And this is why they say for children, it is so easy to learn. But at the same time, for them, it is also very uneasy to, to know what to learn, to decipher. There are such great learners that they take all of it in. And we... Now, when we are conscious, we have a lot of stuff to unlearn. And one stuff that I encourage you to learn, it is how you hold yourself. Because you, my dear one, you need to hold yourself. And you, I encourage you to hold yourself as you are truly meant to do it. As you were always meant to do it. To hold yourself in your axis, in your knowing, in your balance. So that when you hold yourself in this confidence, you can say, okay, I know who I am. I know what I want. And you tap in into your true authenticity, into your true uniqueness. You stop all the games, all the, uh, all the people-pleasing all the limits that you have installed in yourself. And the real confidence is full acceptance of yourself. The real confidence is living from your heart. This is where the real confidence comes from. And then you stand so tall, so straight into your life. And from this authenticity, this is where you are the most powerful, where you can bring the most to this world, where you can contribute the most, where your creativity flows. It all comes naturally to you. Because this is where your true gifts lie. 
this is where you're really like. And it is never too late, never too late to tap in into this space, never too late to release all of those past conditioning. So you can move your body. Imagine this light washing you, washing all the limitations that have limited you from tapping in into your confidence, from all of the times where you heard that you have to make yourself small in order to make others feel good and uh, therefore have your needs met, that you, if you will be in your confidence, if you will be in your creativity, if you will take responsibility for your own being, that your needs will not be met. Just release all of that and tap in into knowing, into confidence that you can take care of yourself, that you can nurture yourself out of this access, out of this alignment, and that you can contribute to others, you can help them have their needs met, at the same time, accepting this help, this support from others. You can allow this energy to exchange freely. It can be a beautiful dance in between with one of the another. There have never supposed to be any limits in between them. Our authenticity supports the authenticity of the another person and they support us, we support them. This life was not supposed to be this race that we have to constantly fight for our survival. Then we are acting out of lack. Then we are acting out of our fear mind. If we want to be confident, we don't have to fight. Confidence doesn't mean, doesn't mean I am better than others. Confidence means I am me. Right? This is the difference. This is the icky part in the collective consciousness that has completely wrong view of the confidence so let's release all of these beliefs that confidence means being better than others confidence means belittling others confidence means fighting with others confidence brings in all of the drama let's release this on all levels all plates all bodies and let's Let's allow our bodies, our minds, each part of us to fully embody this knowledge, to fully take in this knowledge with each cell of our bodies. That confidence is tapping in into your real being. Confidence is living through your heart. Confidence is living with your highest truths. Confidence is your natural state of your being. And it is easy, it is easy to live for us out of this confidence. We always knew how to do it. It brings us great joy. So we just step into it. Never too late, my dear one. Never too late. And I know, I know that you have great visions, great ideas in your life that you always in your heart deeply wanted to do. We all have, all of us come here with a purpose. All of us have something that we can uniquely, only you can bring to this world. Only you. And if you will not, Tap into it. If you will not drop all this place in small, all the limitations, all doubts, just let it flow by. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't fulfill anymore. Because what can truly fulfill is being you, bodying you, living your life, 
the highest and best. And my dear one, I wish it dearly for you, for your loved ones, and for all that is alive. So, before we end, tap in into your heart, feel your heart, and this gratitude in your heart to be able to start this new journey, to have these new insights, new inspirations, new steps in your life. And it doesn't have to be this big project. Maybe you just always wanted this new haircut and you never dared to do it. Maybe you always wanted to try this new recipe, but you always felt not daring to do it. So it is the time to do something that you never dared to do before that your heart always wanted to do. It can be small, it can be big, but it will always lead you to big changes. Living with our heart, following our heart, always bring great big changes. Never doubt it. Never, never doubt it. Always surrender to it. Always. It always brings us great hate. Abundance, great miracles. Well, thank you, my dear ones, for being out here with me today. And I encourage you to listen, always listen to your heart. You have great intuition, great gifts. And we keep in touch. I always, always really appreciate your comments. All of your beautiful messages it really, really brings a lot to me. And I appreciate all of the people that join me for personal sessions where we share so much stuff and people really spread out their wings. So I really, really invite you also to join me on there. And keep in touch. Keep in love. Have a beautiful day with you. And write in the comments if you do something, something that you always wanted to do, please share. Love to hear that. Love you.